Oh my goodness, what has come? A couple of inverters, no less. We'll have to open them. Stand by. Sun Series Grid Power Inverter. These are the 1000 watt ones with the limiters. So it did come with it. some kind of instructions at least. Limit Function User Manual. Well, awesome. Second generation. Second generation. Hmm. So, you know, you got your standard plug. This looks like, yep, this is current, current sensor. as big as my finger that's about it so I don't know whether four uh, will go in there or not we'll have to see anyway that's good we'll have to pause till I dig this out well very well packed anyway oh it's upside down when you know it these things are cold they've been out in that truck for so long but they were well packed There you go. 950 watts. Maximum 1000 watts output. And I don't know. I thought I ordered the low voltage ones. Voltage range 95 to 140. It is there voltage input voltage 22 to 65 that's perfect for my 40 watt 40 amp battery bank there we go 40 amps wow 40 amps yeah i'm right maxed out today yeah okay well it seems pretty good I forgot to give you the number off of that. There they are. They're 100 amp, 50 milliamp. That must be the current produced by the core. And we'll see how these work. It, uh, they're looking pretty good. The two a pair of them on there. I should be able to run my loads. Well, some load. <laughs> I use too much power. But I should be able to run load before before uh, my net metering company gets it all and then only gives me some back. So that's the whole point of, of uh, going to limiters to see if I can make my, my battery bank last longer, for one thing, instead of running, running those wide open all the time. They just suck this thing right dry, especially in the winter. Anyway, we're going to give it a try and see how it works out. Thanks for watching. Well, folks, I decided to try and uh, stop selling all my extra power to uh, the utilities. And I've invested in a couple of these sun thousand uh, thousand watt 120 volt uh, AC grid tie inverters right now it's putting out I've got it limited on the limiters to 600 and I get a little bit difference but I get but it's the same difference in each one more or less within a half a volt or a volt so I'm just experimenting on this see my limiter I had to redo my limiters they uh, they ordered parts so I was going to extend my uh, my limiter cable so I ordered parts but these ones happen to be too big too big around I got the wrong ones but 
Anyway, so I just desoldered the one off the limiter that came with it and uh, made an extension, made an extension cable. So basically, I just desoldered the end off the CT and soldered on my big end and then kept the little end for to put on the other end of my extension cable. Put it on so it just basically put a piece of cable in between. There's four wires in there, so I just doubled them up and used them as one wire. Seems to work pretty good, or it's as close as you can gonna get to uh, to um, the original one. Well, there's the extension cable, and there's the original uh, connector of the CT transformer so I just soldered it on my extension cable and uh, well, I guess I got about 25 feet of it and it uh, it's pretty close pretty close to the right voltage uh, I'm sure it's been cloudy for days I don't have much battery left <laughs> so I don't know how long I can even put this on but right now of course my furnace is running so it takes like 4,000 watts so these two are running what they can 600 watts off of 20 uh, plus 22 would be about you know 2900 there and and uh, 24 2500 there anyway they seem to be working good I put them on uh, metal rockets and they're out from the wall quite a ways I didn't put a metal piece in behind. I'm going to wait and see how hot they actually get. They've been running for about 10 minutes now and it's 34 degrees Celsius. It's quite cool in here. Well, not quite cool, but it might be 20 Celsius in, in this room. So I'm going to wait and see, you know, if they get hot. And if they get hot, if the wall gets hot, i got a piece of metal I can put in behind there. Right now they're running just like they should. I have to turn the LCDs off again, but I had them on there so I could see if I could get this thing a little more uh, coordinated. I'm going to take them up to 750, I think. They go to 900. When I first put, plugged it in, they were 900 wide open. I don't think you should run these wide open, so I'm going to run them at 750. I'm just, I had them at 500, then I moved it up to 600. Now I'm going to go to 750 and I think I won't go higher than that. That way they shouldn't run too hard. They should last a long time. I just put number 6 wire on there to see. Seems to work. I'm waiting for my breaker to come. That breaker's an 80 amp. That's too big. So we'll see how we go. But uh, so far, you know, it'll pull off my battery and then when the when the need for power stops, then these things just stop producing. The, the limiters work great. I can't uh, understand why we, they all don't have such a thing. <laughs> well, my, old, my other ones up there, I haven't put them on, but they just run wide open. And uh, I'm not really wanting to sell my expensive electricity back to the grid if I can help it so that's why I went with these other ones plus it's a bit of an experiment because I intend to, to do this for my daughter and uh, I'd like to now I did uh, run two separate in the two separate uh, leg one and leg two circuits on 15 amp breakers and we put them on these uh, ground fault receptacles so they're dedicated to just that's it this is all they do right here I think that's the best way so you don't have to worry about overloading anything they, uh, we're still drawing lots of power so <laughs> anyway I put them into my my uh, critical loads panel directly into the critical loads panel right here 15 amps one on each leg so uh, 
if by chance the power does go out, then I can. I, it, they will back feed my magnet and charge the battery. It works good with the other. The other ones here, I've got the solar. That's my three t on the top. I only run them when I have enough battery, and then we haven't had sun for days, so we're. I'm running, even what I'm doing there now, I'm way down to 38 volts. So anyway. Just another day. Another day. Well, thanks for watching. When I hooked this up, I just hooked it into the last battery bank with a breaker for protection, but not, not for any, uh, no BMS. So it's interesting to see where um, this BMS is the same battery bank that the grid tie inverters are hooked to. And uh, it's showing that I'm charging at 390 because I'm taking, I'm bringing in a little wee bit because it's cloudy out. But this bank down here, I'm not hooked to directly, only through my, my, um, my bus bars there and it's it shows discharging so it's actually taking power out of the bottom bank and sending it to the to the top bank here that's kind of different so i may end up having to bring my bring my uh, power for those grid ties right to the bus bars and then the BMS will run it. But I was thinking about putting another BMS on this end of the battery system. Just to control. Just to control that this doesn't kill the battery. I haven't figured out yet how to set the battery amperage. It's grayed out. Now maybe I'm only allowed to set one. Either the wattage or the amperage. So. I think that's the way that works. I'm gonna have to get in there and find out. Okay, well, we got the smoke detector on there. If I fry her anyway, <laughs> let's hope not. No smoke, thanks. Bye bye. Well, I think I got this figured out. So, uh, now if this will focus. There you go. So I got it set at uh, to reboot at 38.4. Ah. There you go. 38.4, and I, and then it uh, shuts off the it shuts off the voltage at 37.9 and uh, when it is running it'll make 750 watts so I got on limit control internal limiter I got the as you can see the backlight to shut off and that's how that's supposed to work so the reboot voltage is is just for um, when it should start, like in the morning when the sun comes up, if it was on solar, when it got up to 38.4, it would come on. That was set for 24 originally, because that's the bottom of the voltage band for this inverter. But when you're on battery, you, you don't want it to go that low. So there I go. So 38.4, it'll come on, reboot in the morning. And then it'll shut off at 37.9 and it'll make 750 watts any time that I need it. Up to 750 watts. I just thought I'd throw that in. That's the end of that video. Hopefully we got enough going now. Thanks for watching.